All right, you guys. We got Kevin over here showing us his amazing new branded Chimera deck. He got first place at our locals last night, and he's like, "Cam, I gotta, I gotta show the people, gotta show the people what I was cooking people with last I gotta, night." I gotta show them who's the real king of the beasts. Yeah, the real king of the beasts. Yeah, interested to see like what your thoughts are on on uh, on this deck and and just some some thoughts about your matchups. So for sure, for yeah. sure, bro. First off, is just the branded package was really small. One kit, double Elbaz, and then I had triple Fen Fenrir's, because Fenrir is such a good card. Also, there's a free body for Burf Minute if you have Burf Minute in hand, so yay. Then I had like Hand Traps, Ash Blossom, Droll, and then I had also the triple Imperms. I picked Droll over Nib because. My matches with Salad and Thunder and Crystal Bees all lost because I dropped Droll. And um, I also, this deck loses the Droll, so just having to cross out with this was just amazing. So, and then I put, and then I had Triple Burfermat, Triple Swords Knight, Triple Gazelle, Triple Cornfield. And what's different with this list is because, like, most people play two. I played three because. Usually, most of the time, like Swords Knight wants to sh search this into this anyway. But I've had games where I opened up Burf and Gazelle and Chimera Fusion, and I just hard made Chimera without worrying about Ash Blossom or anything like that. So I thought that was pretty good. And there's been games where, like, I already used two Burf and Met, and then, like, when I went to OTK, I had the third Burf and Met to summon, and that was the big difference in how I OTK people. So that was really good. Um, spells, I had one called by, double towns, double book, double super poly, triple cross out, tr triple chimera fusion, and triple random fusion. Pretty standard and cross out's really good versus like thrust and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then funny enough, I will say this now, I played the deck with 14 card extra deck because I left my <laughs> second Guardian Chimera at home and funny enough, I didn't even need it. <laughs> it was just like, I was like, oh shit, I'm playing with a 14 card extra deck but I somehow won with it, so. Yeah, just like, let's let it ride and, and you did. You rode your way to victory. I know, it was amazing. Um, double Chimera King of Mythical Beast is so good right now, just the fact they ripped the card. Chimera Illusion Beast, OTK, so cool. And then <laughs> last night would have been would have been just the one, but you know, double guardian chimera, so good. Pop two pop cards, draw cards during your opponent's turn. Then you have like your brand of stuff, Rinbrum, your Jade, Rebellion, and Albion. I didn't really get into Mirror Jade at all. It was literally just like Rinbrum was like MVP. And then like I had Magnum. Super Poly targets, Draco Quest because Manadium, oh. oh Baron and Visus, Mud Dragon standard, Garuda standard, Stellapalia standard. Now, the one card I put because I had an extra slot. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? Was Violet Chimera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because since Gazelle's going at three and it's gonna be the, the one of the best decks, I just literally just said, here's a Super Poly target just for you guys. <laughs> because literally I fused off a uh, the new Link 4 Phoenix with a Jaguar and like this thing was like 5300 and he could not out it and I just literally just beat him up with this for game so <laughs> this is such a oh oh <laughs> no, no, we, like, have a, we have a like, visitor like how the cat was saying it's a wipeout <laughs> <laughs> but I really liked it it was super good I didn't get to use it last night but I had it just in case so it was super helpful to have. Yeah, when you showed me that that target, I was like, Kevin, you <laughs> you nasty man. <laughs> what are you about to do with these guys tonight? These are supposed to be our friends. Bro, I got, <laughs> bro, I got traumatized when I played Toss Salad. Toss Salad, I was like, I'm going to come in prepared, bro. All right, and then side deck is pretty standard, but this one card is pretty gooey, I would say. So one Tiger King Wangu. This helped me win my game against Flow with game 3 
because like literally this is just a floodgate for like sprites and everything else and Chimera can bring it back, it's just so amazing. And then triple nib for Unchained, Sword Soul, etc. And then also for Unchained I had Mind Control, Change Your Heart to keep to uh, fight off like Rage and uh, Caesar. Then you had like Back Row Hate. And then I had Triple D Barrier. The goo that I had that I never really saw was Triple Spellbound. What the fuck is that? Now, before people judge me on this, <laughs> I picked Spellbound because this card says monsters your opponent control currently controls cannot be tributed or used for a material for like Fusion, Exceed, and Link. This is like the closest thing to a D barrier that we have against like Salad and then Unchain, and also it's just like Thinking about the lines, like if they try to rage affect a link, you go spellbound. Okay, they can't think off your stuff. And like they try to OTK you with abomination, with red dog, you go nope. You you can't do it. Or even like I just really I just read the card and the fact it said can't be tributed, I go against flu, I'm like, bro. <laughs> no eagling eagling what? You know? Um and also the fact funny enough is it's not worth this card's not once per turn. Yeah. So that, that's honestly crazy. You literally can just chain, chain, and then just make them not play and then pass, and then you just OTK them the next turn. So I didn't get to see this card at all, but it was good in theory. I'm going to try it out in future locals, but I thought it was pretty stand I thought it was pretty well rounded for my locals, and it worked. Awesome. Well, um, seems like you have a pretty good grasp on on the deck and the matchups for this deck um do you have anything that you might like change or if there's a way that you know you could see this deck evolving as the format continues or just kind of seeing just seeing what happens i don't know um everything was pretty standard and it was really good and like i was thinking about trying like the hex seal or like uh for saga destroyer that make dragoon but it's just so much effort to try that but i think um Going forward, I'm gonna try adding this to the deck. Kitty. <laughs> adding this to the deck. Because it's a fourth illusion monster you can search, and Burferman can special summon this. And the fact that it just like pops a card and takes control of the monster is insane. But also like the fact it's like it's another target to make to summon this. And then this just by itself can OTK. So that's the theory behind it. But I think um yeah, I don't think I would really change change the deck otherwise. I might change the deck here and there depending on who is at my local, but I think it was pretty pretty well rounded, so I'm pretty proud of myself. I did I kept telling myself at local I did nothing I get this far. <laughs> well, congratulations on winning. Um I think you got some cool prizes too. You got some like what when did you end up getting for prizes again? It was like a Uh I had I got both an ulti ancient fairy and a power tool, both on limited unfortunately, but they were still pretty good. And a collector's rare um, mobile knight at level one, which was pretty sick. Nice. So, and then I might have another deck profile because this could be a funny one <laughs> with, involving that card. So. Oh, I'd love definitely look forward to seeing that. Um, so. Yeah. Do you have any closing thoughts or any shoutouts or anything you want to give? Uh. Shoutouts, I definitely want to have shoutouts to my local shops like Outer Plains and Waifu Next Door. Shoutouts to Cam for making these awesome videos and Cucumber Horse, you know? So, yeah. um, shout out to the boys that, that I play and test with all the time, like, you know, John, uh, Greg, um, Andre, things, and all the other all, all the awesome people at home, back home. And um, yeah, I think for thoughts, this deck's pretty like. Versatile. It's also fun. Like I was not a fan of this deck like before, but after like practicing it, and also shout out to Galzo for having for being the branded combo god in, on YouTube because I watched his videos, and um, I really had to dive deep into this deck to understand it and learn the lines and things like that. I'm pretty happy that it got me this far because the the players that we played last night was they're like I feel like they're one of our better players in our local so it made me feel good that i was like god i beat them back to back <laughs> and i was like thank god <laughs> yeah it's always great to see kevin win uh it really feels like you like you 
put in the time and the effort to really like learn the matchups and everything, and it, and it really just kind of pays off. So. Yeah, and it felt like an actual Yu-Gi-Oh game going back and forth versus like before I was like gimmick locking people and things like that, <laughs> and no one liked me. Out, no one liked me for that. I'm just like, all right, I'm just gonna play a normal game of Yu-Gi-Oh. So, and then you guys will like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for real, yeah. bro. Okay. Well, I mean, gimmick puppets not like a it's not like a bad strategy or anything, you know. I mean, they they didn't hit it on the ban list, so I guess clearly, you know, there's nothing wrong with it, or whatever. You know, so. Yeah, I used to be like so pro, like pure branded, but then after like not losing to Ash Blossom, and I'm just like, bro, this this deck so this deck's broken. I don't use the Ash Blossom. <laughs> so, no, those are definitely my thoughts, and there's so much. There's so much this deck, this deck is so much fun once you learn it and it's pretty simple so but yeah just shop but just uh, i'm just glad to uh have you have a profile for you cam yeah thank you man i appreciate you coming over and showing us uh, what you got um be sure to uh for those watching if you guys made it to the end please like the video hit subscribe button we're almost at a thousand subscribers and i'm thinking about doing something special at the thousand subscriber mark so um if you guys help me get there then uh, you will not be disappointed uh, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Here's my cat. This is, this is you guys remember Mr. Cheese? He's he's like big now. <gasps> yeah, this is Cheese. Yeah. He's big Cheese. He's big. He big boy. All right. Bye. Say bye, Mr. Cheese. Bye. <laughs> Say bye, Mr. Cheese. This has to be bloopers. Oh, Mr. Cheese. Oh, he's got a drinking problem. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cheese. No. <laughs>